Yes, I panic when he coughs. I panic when he falls. Not a day goes by that Avondale mom Karen Alanise doesn't worry about her 15-year-old son Michael, who needs constant medical attention after being born with a number of heart problems. There's also a constant fear that Michael's medical bills won't be covered by their health insurance. What if we can't afford to keep our home? What if we can't afford to give Michael the medical care that he needs? Should we have to choose? Should we have to choose between Michael's health care and our, our future and our, our, our family survival? Right now, the family's health insurance covers most of Michael's care, but the Avondale school teacher worries if her situation changes and she's forced to buy a short-term health plan, it could put her kid's health at risk. That is just a stress that is completely overwhelming. And I'm not the only one. There's, there's hundreds and thousands of families in my exact situation where every day we're dealing with our children's health care, but more, we're dealing with the money and the financial aspect. Governor Doug yeah, Ducey just signed a bill that will prayers. expand short-term yeah. health insurance plans in Arizona. Supporters claim the plans will provide another, more affordable option than what Obamacare offers. A spokesperson for Governor Ducey sent us this statement. Governor Ducey strongly supports ensuring that Arizonans with pre-existing conditions have access to affordable quality health care. This legislation simply provides consumers additional options to choose from in the health care market. It does not limit health care, nor does it jeopardize plans already in place. But critics are argue the plans are misleading and don't cover many pre-existing conditions. This is not something my family would be interested in purchasing because it is, it's like a patch. It's like a patch that on a tire that you're hoping that will work, but it won't sustain. Eventually that tire will give out. Now, supporters of these short-term insurance plans insist they are not for everyone, especially not for people with pre-existing conditions. They are simply another less expensive option for folks who need medical help and health insurance at a lower cost. Reporting live at the state capitol, Jason Berry for Arizona's Family.